And then we're going to put the, and the, your socks and your underwear can go in the drawer. Okay, so the designer okay. is at work over here. Yeah, look, you have to show them. Like, this is an empty canvas. An empty canvas. Is that how you call it? A blank canvas. Look. Blank canvas. We can do whatever we want with this. Yeah. So we got one sort of shelf. And then we got three little drawers, which are awesome. Oh. Yeah. So these can hold, like, your underwear and maybe... I don't know. Underwear and maybe like <laughs> oh jeez, Bobby. Maybe like um like little tank top shirts. I don't know what you yeah. would wear. Something like that. So Something this will all be this is looks like a mess now because we've just moved stuff everywhere. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be all awesome. So I've just put some straw in this house because I've moved cinnamon bun here. She's quite heavily pregnant, and Cupcake is here as a companion, just until Cinnamon Bun has, gets close to having her letter. Because kids are very social, they don't like to be alone. What is it, Cupcake? Yes. And um, so I've moved her here so that... She can have a little bit of rest the last probably two, three weeks before she has the babies. So she's quite heavily pregnant, but it's not floppy and loose and swollen yet. So she's still got about three weeks to go, but she's into, oh my goodness, we want to be scratched. So we lying down so we can get scratched. Yes. You're wanting a belly rub, hey? Oh, he's wanting a belly rub. Oh my goodness, you're so jealous. You're so jealous. Cinnamon bun is having a belly rub and you're getting jealous. Oh, I can't scratch you and her at the same time. My goodness gracious. Cupcake. Anyway, so they are now in the pen that was Coco Pop's pen. If there's a lot of wind noise, I apologize because it is a hectically windy day today. But yeah, you can see belly swollen, but still quite a way to go for the, she could be like another three weeks or so, three, four weeks, maybe another month, but she just wants to be, have a bit of a belly rub. Look at her. She's in a euphoric state. Yes. I'm also coming to do a little bit of a tidy up of this pen because um, just to move the bits of wood that Coco Pop has pulled off things and yeah. She was starting to get bored because she was tired of babies. What's it, my girl? Yes, what's it? Yeah, Coco Pop does a great job at dismantling everything. So Accents has this amazing combination smoke and carbon monoxide alarm with voice alerts. And I am so excited to install it in the cottage, seeing that I use the wood burner a lot. And I uh, want to make sure that I'm not going to set myself on fire or get overcome with smoke inhalation during the night. So let's see what it looks like. Let's open the box. It comes with, oh, there's screws and wall plugs so we can fix it to something. And it comes with a user manual, which is in English, which is a bonus because I don't speak. Oh, it has got other languages as well. Oh, well, shoot, shoot. Awesome. Um, so it looks like it's in, yeah, Installasi, Leitgang, Technische Daten. So it's in Deutsch, which is German. So it's in English and German. Okay, so it's got the basic safety information. I suppose I should be like a woman and have girl power and read the instructions. Because you know, men don't like to read instructions and then they make a cock up. 
So, let's have a look and see what this looks like. Ooh, very, very fancy. So, it's got like a little screen of some kind. Ah, the, it's got the, the special alarm. So, I can do a test. Green power, red alarm, and yellow fault. Oh, so, it comes with different colors. So, we will have to put it up and maybe, maybe I can use the sage thing under it so that the smoke will set it off. I think that's a brilliant idea. Thank you, Accents. Okay, so we're looking to see how this is going to work. We have to pull this out. The battery is going in. Don't, don't spook. It has a single beep and then... It's going to say something. This is how we're going to put it on. It's going to activate in German. Activates in German. I thought it was German. Hello from Accents. Drücken Sie zum Testen die Taste Test Stumm schalten. Okay. Dies ist nur ein Test. Der Alarm ertönt laut. Sie können die Taste Test Stumm schalten drücken, um den Test Test des Rauchsensors. Okay, so it has a test slash silence button. So if you if it's going off and there's not an emergency, so you want to turn it off. No, if it's making noise, you want to turn it off. You press this button and you silence it. But if the smoke doesn't go away after nine minutes, it will activate again. Mode after nine minutes, yeah. Uh, because it's telling you that danger is still not over. Okay. Okay, what's the next? Okay, installation positioning. Installation locations. Prioritize the installation of an alarm in the bedroom and walkways and make sure you can hear the alarm or you're going to hear this from sleep, from all sleeping areas. In a home with several bedrooms, install alarm in, an alarm in every bedroom. If you install only smoke alarms in your home, only one smoke alarm in your home, install the alarm near all the bedrooms where possible and not in the basement or the furnace room. Install an alarm above the stereo. Huh? Smoke, heat and anything burning will spread horizontal. Okay. If an alarm cannot be installed in the middle of the ceiling. Okay, we're installing it in the middle of the ceiling, so that's fine. Install it 20 inches away from the corners of the room. If an alarm is installed on a wall, it should be a distance. If the length of a room or hall is beyond. Okay, so the option is, I think we're going to put it on this wooden. This is the only place yeah. we can put it. And we have an option, we can put it here, which is closer to the thingy. So we can put it there. Which is a little bit further away. What do you want to do? I think maybe let's put it there. So it's not directly in front of the okay, I'm going fire. To I do have the wood burner in this room. Okay, so I'm holding this. Yeah. And so you put that flat part up first with the screws. And then this will just slot into that. Can you reach it? Not really. <laughs> no. So we're just pre-drilling the holes into the beam. Perfect. And now it's just a matter of sliding it in. And there it is. Oh. Oh, that was all? I thought there was a sticker on here. Yeah, there is. Do we have to take this? There's not. <laughs> no. It was just a little boozy. Okay, so it's on. 
And oh, what do we say when girls do things? Ayato. I thought we were saying supposed to say girl power. Where is this? Where's the girl power? Girl power. Oh my goodness. You want me to test it? Yes. I can't I can't do my ears and Okay. This is my test. The alarm at loud. Sie können die Taste Test stumm schalten drücken um den Test Test des Rauchsensors. It's quite the test is beendet. Normal yeah, Betriebszustand. To start. It's so quite it's quite a piercing thing. Yeah. Well thank you, Xsense. This is brilliant and it's gonna make me feel a lot safer. So Kim has performed her magic in here and I might not find everything I need, but I'm sure I will eventually. But yeah, so that's my little cozy area. That's my work area. And that's the wardrobe that was delivered last night. Um, gone are the plastic bins. It's uh, goodbye to some of the piglets today. Um, so I've got this one all caught up ready. It'll be going off to its new home. And the others, I'm going to have them all in that, um, while they still wait to go, will be in the chicken coop. So it's goodbye to these piglets. So unfortunately, the time has come for us to say goodbye to the best bestest volunteer kim has done a wonderful job on the farm on the kitchen looking after the animals battling mud and rain to rescue molly when she was born in the rain and fixing up the kitchen the room everywhere she's kim has been everywhere so she's going to be sorely missed on this farm on bella pedra and we want to wish her all the best and we hope that we will see you back here again, you and your little puppies. We probably will next year. That'll be brilliant. So best of luck and keep in touch. And when I'm visiting the Netherlands, we're going to go out for, I don't know. Fun. I'm going to show you around. Perfect. Sounds brilliant. <laughs> awesome. So thank you so much, Kim. So, Kim. Do you recommend coming to volunteer at Bella Pedra? No. No. <laughs> oh, don't come here. No, oh. Joey, no. It's lots of fun. The town is really cute. People are super friendly. I made like, how do you say that? Acquaintances, people that I see every day that they say hello and they talk to the dogs. And the property is stunning. There's a shit ton of stuff to do. You can put all your skills to work. Everything there's so much to do that every, even if it's just, if you like gardening, you can come. If you like building, you can come. If you just like to pet animals and hang out with the animals, you can come because the animals need to be, how do you say that, socialized with people. If you just like to hang out with Sydney, cook with her, I think that's even a thing we can do here. There's so many things to do. It's so much fun. And it's really nice here because if you come here with a dog, you can walk everywhere. I haven't even been that way, but it's really pretty if you go that way because there's a little river and the nights are beautiful there's all stars the the part where i slept i had like this is unbelievable i've been here for six weeks i had like my own private field up there i wouldn't hear anybody the only time i shared it a couple of times but that was just okay that i was just it was just my i could just shower there naked in the, there's nobody there it's just your own it's like having your own little property for a little while and cindy's so much fun and very nice and all the animals are very friendly and very nice. Yeah, it's just wonderful here. And Cindy's going to cook really nice stuff for you. So you're going to like gain some weight with eating all the really good stuff that she makes for you. Thank you so much. And if you want to volunteer, just send me a message. <laughs> Always a little bit of a sad day when piglets go. So another three have gone now. Um, others are due to go during... Um, the coming week and 
um, a week or two after um, others will be going. Kim can't stop. Now she's packing away the rope. <laughs> I, this is the thing I hadn't finished yet. Thank you so much. Thanks very much to Rickard for all the work you did on the farm. And a huge, huge, huge thanks to Kim. She spent over a month at the farm. She did so many different things and made my life so much easier. So thank you to both of you. Wishing you all the best of luck and hoping you will return to Bella Pedra. And for everyone else, in the meantime, stay sane, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.